Hello and welcome to a new series working with AFC Bournemouth on Football Manager. This is going to be quite the mission to try and see if we can get AFC Bournemouth to the Premier League title. Now you may be thinking what on earth are you doing? It's just me looking through the squad just to have a look. Um, well I've done many saves like this before where I have gone to a Premier League team and tried to make sure that they can firstly stay in the division and then secondly try and build them to become one of the greatest teams in the Premier League and one of, one of the greatest teams in Europe. Now here I'm going through having a look to try and sell Ryan Fraser. Now I was trying to think potentially about giving him a contract but he wasn't really up for it so I thought you know what let's get some money in and let's go for a younger winger who we can who we can bring in and potentially develop and sell on for 40 50 million or whatever um now I was just again just having a look through um to see the best players now there were a few players that I was also looking to sell people like Jordan I I wasn't going to probably end up using uh, I thought Brooks would be important in the save uh, he is a very good winger who can develop quite quickly and this is me just having a look now to try it so there's Ryan Fraser going off to Wolves uh, for 22 million I believe and we were having a look at some options elsewhere. Now, Leon Bailey was obviously quite a lot out of our price range. Correa, also, again, £225 million for a player of his quality. Yes, he's a great player, but probably not going to spend £225 million. Then we set our sights on Wissam Ben Yedda from Monaco now I know I was speaking about youth before but when you can find a player of this quality for 46.5 million I tried to snap him up by the bit and uh, you'll see later it doesn't exactly go according to plan so again having an another look around Zaniolo was too expensive 100 plus million um, so we didn't go for him. Paqueta, I believe they weren't up for selling at all. Uh, so we ended up just putting the offer in just for uh, Ben Yedda. But, as we will see later on the line, we don't go for Ben Yedda. We go for a much younger option. And uh, the scouts actually helped me out a lot to, to bring him in. Uh, so we we're here selling Jordan Ibe for nine million pounds. I've said, but I probably will allow other options. Other people include Adam Smith. Uh, he's been at Bournemouth for a very long time, and here we are then. So this is actually now an inquiry for Musa Diaby. Now they accepted thirty four point five million, which I thought was an absolute steal. For a player of his quality and what he develops into on this game, I've seen it many saves before. It is an absolute steal that we've been able to get Musa Diaby for thirty-four point five million. Now his minimum fee release clause is tw uh, seventy-two million pounds. That is again quite good for like almost doubling the amount he's coming in for, and what a player he is a a better replacement for uh, than uh, Ryan Fraser but we we're not done in the transfer window just yet uh we've got uh, other options coming in for example uh we are going to go for a center back to uh, eventually partner Nathan Ake who is of course one of Bournemouth's best players and uh, one of Bournemouth's brightest prospects and we're also going to bring in a right back on loan 
to replace Adam, the outgoing Adam Smith. So hopefully that will uh, that will allow us. I apologise if this is very laggy because uh, the the screen record of the phone wasn't great. But we've got some uh, some friendlies coming up against Peterborough, uh, Stevenage, West Ham, and I can't remember. There was another one I think, and I've completely forgotten it. So anyway, yeah. So here we go. We're looking at. Nathan Ackley, but I don't think it's great quality uh, of filming. Anyway, uh, we we go into the game against Stevenage. At half time, it was two one. Uh, I believe it's two goals from uh, Brooks, the uh, Welshman, and that game I think ended four one. That was a very very good uh, tester for the team going into uh, pre season. I was also trying to play around with. Uh, in terms of setup, in terms of uh, whether we should go counter attack, whether we should just try and attack, uh, I think we should probably try and mix the two together during the season, um, and hopefully it will provide a little bit of uh, kind of unexpected, unexpected feeling around Bournemouth, because then the fans will get behind the. A wide strategy of play. Um, so yeah, so now we're just looking at some of the youth youth options that we've got. Uh, their team actually beat Manchester City's youth team three 0 and I was quite intrigued to see. Well, what players have we got here that we could actually develop into world car world class players and. Uh, there are a few there. There's a central defensive midfielder called Wadham. Uh, he looks quite good. And I think later on in this episode, we put him out on loan to try and see if he can develop uh, any more. Uh, but, yeah, we, we've got options all across the youth setup, um, And we will need the youth setup to progress and to get this goal of trying to become the the best team in the in the league uh so dan juma uh looks like a quite interesting prospect the uh talent from the netherlands uh but again we we've got quite a lot of talent now on that wing especially with the arrival of diaby um so that will be interesting to see how other how other players fit into that squad but Dan Juma potentially could end up with a with a leading role in the in the squad. Um, but you, like like you say, you never know really. One performance, one injury, whatever, can influence the whole season. And Bournemouth have experienced that a lot in real life this year, and that's why they're in the relegation zones. Unfortunately, um, I don't necessarily support Bournemouth or anything. I I haven't for the Leicester save I've done before for the Leipzig save uh, that I filmed, uh, but yeah, it was a it was an interesting uh, interesting save we did there, and um, yeah, so this game against Peterborough United was a thrashing in the end. Um, I believe Philip Billing scored twice, Callum Wilson scored twice, and David Brooks scored twice. Um, Ivan Tone. He is actually quite a good little player on um, Football Manager. Always seems to be an option that you can bring in. Um, he did score for Peterborough, but uh, yeah, six-one was a bit. That was a nice. That was a nice start to the season. Uh, in a friendly game against a team in League One, who are they've they, they've they've tried to be building back up to the. Uh, to the top but again you've got to give time uh, and effort into doing that and uh, yeah who knows if Peterborough have have enough uh, momentum for that now we I don't I believe at this point it's actually cut out but we at this point uh, I'll I'll announce uh, we have signed Kamara the 19 year old centre back from Marseille. Now he came in 
for I believe I think it was thirty million pounds. So another expensive signing that we've gone in, in to, to buy. Bournemouth have been known sometimes to spend thirty odd million on the wrong young player. Dominic Solanke, for example, Jordan Ibe. These players have been uh, redi- uh, spent like a lot of money. Uh, speaking of Solanke, here I am trying to sell him. Uh, I, <laughs> it's just not for me. He's not like a type of player. Um, if we're going to have another striker off the bench, I'd rather sign one, a, a young Maybe like Josh Sargent from Verde Bremen or someone like that who we could potentially uh, bring in in the future. But your guys put in the comments uh, any other options. Of course, I have a budget, so I can't go uh, over it. But uh, any other like young players that you've signed in your first season in the past, uh, just just let me know and I'll... Uh, I'll try and see if I could include them. After all, this series is uh, a, a community-based series. I, I'm I'm not going to just ignore what everybody is saying. Uh, like the video I posted earlier of the uh, FIFA stream was very successful and um, I was open to speaking about um, my team and things to to everybody and yeah I think it was a brilliant stream. Um anyway moving back to football manager. Uh <laughs> yeah so this has been a interesting start to the season. I believe we beat Huddersfield two now in the third friendly. Uh, a goal from Callum Wilson and I think it was Josh King who got the second goal. Uh so that was a very very good sign that everything was working on the offensive quarter um and uh yeah so hopefully the attack can kind of push us forward this year defensively we've got a youthful defense now with the signing of Kamara uh and Diogo Dalot for the right back who has come in from Manchester United on loan uh, but loans are, are. I am only looking to maybe do in the first or second season. It was because of finances. I couldn't really bring in a, a right back and Kamara. Um, so I thought Dalot, he has experience playing for Manchester United. He's a relatively young option and he can play second fiddle to Jack Stacey at right back uh, for the season. But yeah. I think Stacy Stacy's had an interesting career signing obviously from Luton. Um so he's kind of he won the division title in League 1. So everyone kind of ex- wasn't sure what to expect from him. But to be fair, he has performed relatively well for Bournemouth. They've had a they've had a difficult season in real life obviously, but I think he's been one of the players that's been a standout. It's Bournemouth's attacks at to attacking area that have really let him down this season I think Callum Wilson obviously not being able to get as many goals um, and uh, yeah so it's been a bit difficult for them to find a force up front and that's what I'm trying to do this year on this game by trying to sign an attacking presence thank you very much for watching guys